so much laughter, magic, comedy, musical. Can one eye dancer red carpet take? Well, you are about to find out now, live on YouTube. Welcome home, and welcome to the Dominic Guy Dancing Channel, as we present the 2021 Annual Eye Dancing Academy Awards. And now, put your hands together for the host of our show, everyone's favorite train, Thomas! Thank you, thank you very much everybody. Welcome to the 2021 Annual Eye Dancing Academy Awards. Congratulations, we're nominated tonight, and we'd like to give everybody a big welcome home during these hard times in a whole year. And besides, I'm not the only train here, because I got three other buddies that will join us this evening. First up, I got Henry with me. Hey everybody, it's great to see everybody again. It sure is. And I also got my best buddy in the whole wide world, Percy. Oh boy, Percy's nervous again. Come on. He can't be nervous again. This tiny creep can't get him. True, but it's been a while. But don't worry, I'll get him. Percy, Percy, nobody hasn't seen you live and in person for a year. Come on out there and say hello to everyone. Uh, uh, hey guys. Attaboy, Percy. And finally, I would like to introduce you to... Me! Hello! Hi! I'm so excited! And I just can't hide it! Are you guys excited? I just can't hide it too! I know I am. Me too. Me three! Only when somebody would throw a bucket of water to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Come on, Percy. We're gonna have so much fun with each other again. With the jabbering? Yeah, now that's fun. <laughs> okay, guys, let's just settle down. Yeah, Thomas is right. Tonight's the awards night, so we haven't done this for about a year. So please, be on your best behavior. That's right, Henry. So, are you guys excited to be back in business again? Oh yeah, Thomas, I am so excited! We can see the light of the world again! Okay, James, knock it off. We have a show to do. Anyways, the Aya Dances have brought to life every show to the Aya Dances stage, as well as our exclusive new episodes of our series. Three shows came back, and two shows just got here. That is correct, Percy, but still... We're going to have to wait and see, because we're also going to announce the winners for Best 10 Year Shows and Best 15 Year Shows as well. Ooh, now that will be a great show! Can I announce the winners? Please, 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 please! <laughs> James, don't even think about it. I know what you're gonna do. Guys, we can all take turns. Same, I am a patient dude. I know you are, Henry. Now... For those of you who may or may not have seen our past award videos, we always announce the winners for any show and film that join the IA Danza Club one by one. We'll alternate. So, without further ado, let's announce the 2021 winners! Let's start off with Best Shows, Thomas. You got it. So, the nominees for Best Musicals are Godspell. All together now. And the Oscar goes to... Godspell! Wow, I heard Godspell is such a great show. What is Godspell? Is it some kind of evil king's curse? <laughs> oh no, Godspell is about the formation of a community which carries on Jesus' teachings after he has gone. Oh Jesus Christ. Hey, watch it, you're a kitty train. <laughs> so, I'm not a kitty train, I'm a small engine. I know, what I meant was a train from a kid show. Who cares? But no time for train nursery rhymes. Let's announce the winners for Best Revivals. Okay, so the nominees for Best Musical Revivals are Cinderella, <laughs> Gateway's Haunted Playhouse, The Little Mermaid, and the Oscar goes to... What the? Where's the envelope? I thought you had it. Don't oh, shoot. I've accidentally left it in the bathroom. Be right back. Well, you better find it, because it better not be flushed down the toilet. <laughs> I'm back. It was on the bathroom sink after I finished washing my hands. Well, it looks wet. How can we see? Oh, don't you worry. I have good eyes. So the Oscar goes to... The Little Mermaid. Wow. This is one of the greatest Disney movies I've ever saw in Sodor Cinemas. 
and now it became more popular for the Aya Danza stage. And I've heard that this is one of Awesome Channel's favorite Disney movies. Yeah, big shout out to Michael, aka Awesome Channel, because your channel is so awesome. Of course. And since there's only one play 10 years ago, I'm gonna say that the nominees and Oscar for best 10 year play will go to Voices from the High School. Wow, I wonder why they call it Voices from the High School. I don't know, but because of that title, it seems really scary. <laughs> Percy, this play might have so many things. Some of them are serious, some of them are scary, and some of them are funny. Like Homer Simpson. Yeah, kind of like you. <laughs> I'm a red engine, not yellow. But still, did the I Dance the Kids do any musicals? Yeah, lots of them. Mind if I start off? Sure, go ahead. The nominees for Best Ten-Year Musicals are A Chorus Line, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, King Arthur's Crazy Quest, Pacific, The Jazzy Chaperone, and the Oscar goes to A Chorus Line. Wow, A Chorus Line is the best show ever to appear on Broadway and in community. Well, I'm jealous that the only number song they love best is one, because you're number one, and I'm number five. Well, five can still be lucky number two. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Okay, and the nominees for best 15-year musicals are Annie Get Your Gun, Pinocchio, Randy Reader Live, and the Oscar goes to... What the? Where's the envelope? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a liar. You must have had it. No, I don't. Well, you're totally red, so I think your pants is on fire. <laughs> Percy, I totally forgot that it fell off from one of my tenders on where the envelopes are. Told ya. Oh, okay. But I still got my eyes on you, dude. <laughs> like I was saying, and the Oscar goes to... Pinocchio! Wow! Pinocchio is like one of the greatest fairy tale stories that has joined Disney. And it's been around for about 80 years. Man, that was a long time ago. And I remember that Andrew Brooking was the character when he did Shrek. Well, Shrek is not Disney, James. It's DreamWorks. Hey, I knew that. Well, sometimes you don't. <laughs> okay, but now we've finished announcing the winners for best shows. Let's announce the winners for best lead actors. Henry, can you start off? Sure. The nominees for Best Lead Actors are Jamie Bio, Luke Ferrari, Clean Fischetti, Tony Pecorella, and the Oscar goes to Luke Ferrari as Prince Eric in The Little Mermaid. Luke Ferrari was nominated because he was one of the greatest and most talented performers all across Long Island. It was his best singing, his best dancing, and his best talent skills. So congratulations to Luke Ferrari. That's amazing. How will we announce the winners for Best Leading Actresses? So the nominees for Best Leading Actresses are Jennifer Geisman, <laughs> Steffi Jolin, <laughs> Francesca Luini, <laughs> Jessica May Murphy, Jillian Michelle Smith. And the Oscar goes to... Hey, where's the envelope? Let me guess, the other one's in the bathroom, right? <laughs> it's just one envelope. That is so weird that the other one is... <laughs> hey, what's the big guy? Oh, thank you. <clears throat> and the Oscar goes to... Jillian Michelle Smith as Ariel in The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Jillian Michelle Smith was nominated because she's been portraying a number of great leading girls in person and on stage, most particularly Ariel. She has the most beautiful, talented, singing voice and did a magnificent job as Ariel. So congratulations to Miss Jillian Michelle Smith. Wow, let me tell you one thing. Jill is such one of the most beautiful stage actresses on what any I dancer would have. Yeah, my eyes are always moist every time I hear Jill's beautiful singing voice. Are you kidding me? Your eyes are moisting on me as well. You're giving me the freaking Google eyes. Do I look like a girl to you? No, I'm just in love with Jill. But no offense, I think she's a better singer than Emily. Don't talk about Emily that way. She's definitely an amazing singer, just like Jill.
I know, but as for my good old Rosie, she sings like a beautiful princess. I know. Ooh la la. <laughs> Do you eyes on my face, you moron? We gotta show you. Oh, come on, Percy. You know I'm just having fun with you always. Besides, you're a lot more shiny when you're in the spotlight. Oh. Thank you. But do they come in men's sizes? <laughs> okay, that's it. Sue, you're going down. <laughs> no wonder why James is always a trained clown. He can still be as crazy as Mike Zoller. <laughs> well, maybe you're right sometimes, Percy. But other than that, we should announce the winners for Best 10-Year Lead Actors. That's right. So the nominees for Best 10-Year Lead Actors are Kyle Baroud, Ryan Faziola, Dylan Kafarian, Donna Guy Danza, Jake Sokoloff. And the Oscar goes to Kyle Baroud as Man in Chair in the Jazzy Chaperone and Larry in a Course Line. Kyle Drew was nominated because he's done a fabulous job narrating the story of the Josh Chaperone as well as playing Zach's assistant director Larry in the chorus line and became one of the most greatest acting celebrities at Station East. So congratulations to Kyle Baroud. Man in chair? I wonder why they call him that. Well, that's a good question, Percy. I think he's the man who tells a story to the audience while sitting on his chair. <laughs> I see what you mean. But what about 10-year lead actresses? That's just what we're going to do, Henry. Percy, can you start off? You've read my mind, Thomas. So the nominees for Best 10-Year Lead Actresses are Brittany Lacey, Melanie Morin, Daniel Nigro, Caitlin Onfred, Rachel Wadler, and the Oscar goes to... Caitlin Onfray as Janet Vandegraaff in the Jazzy Chaperone and Nelly in South Pacific. Caitlin Onfray was nominated because she is one of the most famous, talented stars all across Long Island and did a wonderful job with her special talent skills as Janet as well as Nelly. So congratulations to Caitlin Onfray. Well, I'm going to say that I think that Caitlin Onyfray should soon be a Broadway star, don't you think? Yeah, like Sutton Foster, or Carrie Butler, or Ashley Brown. Yeah, kinda, but I think she might have tons of great talents as well. And she's so acrobatic, too. So am I, dude. <laughs> dude, you're a train. Trains don't do acrobats. But Andy can do acrobats, so why can't I? Well, you still can. Unless if you want to get injured with a stupid jabbering. Yeah, thanks a lot. And did you know that she also did Andy Get Your Gun 15 years ago? Yes, I did. Well, speaking of 15 years, what about 15 years of leading actors? Well, since there's not too many leading actors, I'm going to say that the nominees for Best 15-Year Lead Actors are John Rivera and Mike Giordano. And the Oscar goes to... Wait. Where's the envelope? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? Where is it? Dude, you're standing on it. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Must have fallen off on one of my tenders. My mistake. Anyways, and the Oscar goes to... Michael Giordano as Pinocchio in Pinocchio. Michael Giordano was nominated because he's one of the most talented theater three stars ever since he started doing shows with Musical Theater Company and soon would hopefully do more exciting adventures at Theater 3. So congratulations to Michael Giordano. Wait a minute, isn't Michael a little too old to play Pinocchio? Well, since they mostly use adults for children's theater, they always use some younger adults to play kid roles. How come? It's a long story. Yeah, we'll explain later. We gotta continue announcing more winners. Great idea, Henry. So the nominees for Best 15-Year Lead Actresses are Corinne David, Ashley Idanza, Jacqueline Hughes, and the Oscar goes to Jacqueline Hughes as Pinocchio. Jacqueline Hughes was nominated because she's been doing lots of great shows, but not only at Theater 3, all around Long Island. And especially when not enough men join any shows, she will be the one who can help any show go on. 
So congratulations to Jacqueline Hughes. Wait, Jacqueline Hughes is Pinocchio? That's weird. I thought Pinocchio is a male character. Of course she is, you dope. She has talents. Everybody has special talents. Yeah, and if you sometimes let women play kid characters, they can sound like young children. Other kids will never notice. That is correct, Henry. Now, since we've announced the winners for Best Leading Actors, let's announce the winners for Best Supporting Actors. Can I go, Thomas? I'm a supporting character. Well, sort of. <laughs> okay, fine. Just don't go too overboard. Yes! So the nominees for Best Supporting Actors are Anthony Cortez, <laughs> Gage Giacquino, Max Lambert, Peter J. Osterman, Bryce Powell, and the Oscar goes to Peter J. Osterman as King Triton in The Little Mermaid. This was his first year doing shows in New York, but however, Peter J. Osterman was nominated because it was his kindness, his support, his talent, and being the best singer ever. So congratulations to Peter J. Osterman. Just so you know that I think Peter is very good with Dominic Idianza. I know, he's kind of like Logan. But did Peter play some characters with anger management problems just like Gordon? <laughs> Not always, James. And Gordon doesn't have any anger management problems. He's just a cranky old engine. But it sounds like he is angry to me. <laughs> Only if we do things that can drive him crazy. Especially with some things that has something to do with Barney. God, I really hate that show. <laughs> Let's not talk about grumpy old men. Let's announce the winners for Best Supporting Actresses. Great idea, Thomas. So the nominees for Best Supporting Actresses are Emily Crow, <laughs> Ellen Dumlowa, Kimberly Friedman, Sarah Minto, Katie Trun, and the actor goes to Sarah Minto as Charlotte in Cinderella. Sarah Minto was nominated because she's been working with CM ever since she was a young girl. She also had some great talents like singing, dancing, and even some great comedy style. And most of all, it was also her kindness and support who believed in anybody including her best friend Dominic enough to do this. So congratulations to Sarah Minto. You know, Sarah is like one of the only CM ladies who really believes that Dominic Guy Danza should do more shows at CM. Has he ever hang out with her yet? By doing lots of shows with her at CM? Yes. By getting a bite to eat and seeing movies? No. Well, not quite yet. Just very soon. Have some patience, fellas. You can't rush anybody who can do something with you. They can only do it when they don't get a lot on their plate. Yeah, you'll get some stomach aches if you keep rushing on what's on your plate. <laughs> well, I used to rush on eating chocolate cake once, but I didn't get a stomach ache. I got brain farted. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay, let's not talk about eating junk, because right now, the nominees for Best 10-Year Supporting Actors are... Logan Farrell, Gil DeFerry, Love, James D. Schultz, Ryan Reconello, and the Oscar goes to... Wow! Dylan Gaffarian as Adolfo in the Drowsy Chaperone and Paul in a chorus line! <laughs> Dylan Gaffarian was nominated because he's done a fabulous job playing a few characters with great comedy styles, as well as playing other characters who lives in Spain, India, America, and so on. And he also became one of the greatest acting celebrities at Satan East. So congratulations to Dylan Gaffarian. Hey, speaking of Adolfo, that's the character that Andrew Brooking played when he did the Joshi Chaperone. Yeah, because one big doofus made him play these kind of characters. A doofus? <laughs> Who you call doofus? And he has got so many talents. I think he's trained well. Easy for you to say. Well, since we've announced the winners for Best 10 Years Supporting Actors, how about 10 Years Supporting Actresses? Swell idea, Henry. Can I go this time? I love supporting ladies. James, whatever it is that you're gonna do, I'm gonna kick your butt. Relax. Same thing like we always do for God's sake. So the nominees for Best 10 Years Supporting Actors are Marcy Bing, 
Sagawa Fly, SCI Danza, Whitney Kelly, Danielle Nigro. And the Oscar goes to Ashley Ayadanza as Judy Turner in A Chorus Line and Patty Miko in Voices from the High School. Wait, Ashley Ayadanza is related to Dominic Ayadanza? No, she's related to Anne Frank. Of course she's related to Dominic Ayadanza. Ever since she was interested to theater that has gotten Dominic Ayadanza to join in. But where is she now? Maybe she retired. Whoa, don't say that. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna say that she's on break, but she still has great acting skills. She sure does. Plus, now since we've announced the winners for best 10 years supporting actors, what about best 15 years? That is correct, Percy. Hey, Thomas, mind if I start off this time? Sure, go ahead. Thank you. The nominees for best 15 years supporting actors are Dylan Finder, Dominic Idanza, Morgan H. Rumble, Matt. Sirico! And the Oscar goes to... Dominic Iganza as Professor Borgazzo in Disney's Tokyo! Dominic Iganza was nominated because no matter what show that he's performed, he most ends up playing supporting roles because he's very good with children. He has great acting skills, his best singing voice, and even his great comedy style. So congratulations to Dominic Iganza! Well, speaking of supporting roles, Dominic Danza is mostly best for playing characters with comic reliefs. Well, not always, dude, because he did play some bad guys on stage, but mostly characters that are minor. Yeah, and that's totally not that bad for him today, but he's too good to play small roles. True, but he'll soon play some principal roles when people think he should play some. Oh, like Constantine? <laughs> no, just any roles that's suitable for him. <laughs> oh, right. Alrighty. Let's announce the winners for Best 15 Year Supporting Actresses. Can I start off this time? I haven't done it in a while. Be my guest. Thanks. <clears throat> the nominees for Best 15 Year Supporting Actresses are Sarah Audain, <laughs> Amy Connor, Amanda Jurassi, Chrissy Peters, Jenna Cavalier. And the Oscar goes to... Jenna Cavalier as Annabelle, the Blue Fairy, in Pinocchio. Jenna Cavalier was nominated because she's been part of Theater 3 ever since 2012. Everyone loved all of her performances. It was her sense of humor, being good with children, and even her beautiful singing voice. So congratulations to Miss Jenna Cavalier. I've heard of Jenna Cavalier. She was like great friends with Dominic Danza. Yeah, and she treats him very awesome. Yeah, no wonder why a lot of actresses love him. Well, most actresses, but they're just some that's not so nice to him anymore. Yeah, they're now more like brats. <laughs> like who? <laughs> Don't never mind that right now, James. We gotta announce the winners for Best Feature Performers. Okay, can I go first? If you insist, James. Oh, come on! How come he gets to start off all the time? I don't know. Maybe because I'm the best? <laughs> the best? Sometimes you can be a sore loser on playing video games. Thanks, dude. So the nominees for Best Feature Actors are... Richie Cachonova, Dominic Ganza, Barry Johnson, Andrew Linehan, Jordan Yates. And the Oscar goes to... Dominic Danza as Windward in The Little Mermaid and Dom in Godspell. Dominic Danza was nominated because he's been doing great things on stage as a minor character or an ensemble and does a wonderful job helping other cast and crew out. So congratulations to Dominic Danza. To be fair, that Dominic Danza always plays featured roles. Dude, did we not tell you not always? But it's true! Well, that's false. He played almost a lot of principal roles on stage. That's true. His first show that he was the lead is The Grinch. Hey, it looks like Dominic Danza played a lot of green men, just like he played you in our series, Henry. Well, not always. I have other voice actors who brought me to life as well. Oh, gotcha. But he mostly plays me in our series, too. That I got you, too. Well, since we've announced the winners for Best Featured Actors, let's announce the winners for Best Featured Actresses. So the nominees for Best Featured Actresses are 
Aubrey Alvino, Noelle Angelo, Minko, Brooke Miranda, Katie Trun, and the Oscar goes to Sarah Minto as Arista in The Little Mermaid. Sarah Minto was nominated because even though that she is one of the best CM stars ever, she can play some feature characters with great scene solos as well as some comic relief styles. So congratulations to Sarah Minto. First, Dominic Idanza gets to be the winner and Sarah too? <laughs> yeah. Because Dominic and Sarah are both awesome couple and everybody loves them the best. They're a problem? Well, no. That's what I thought. And besides, I think Sarah Minto is such a beautiful friend to Dominic Idanza, just like an angel. Hey, I thought Emily is beautiful. She is. All girls are beautiful. Duh. <laughs> we even asked the winner for best 10 year feature actors. How about we announce the winner for best 10 year feature actors? You've read my mind, Henry. Let's do this. I'm Max. <laughs> I swear to God, if he ever volunteers again, I'm gonna throw a bucket of water to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> sure. So the nominees for best 10 year feature actors are Jake Diabertis. Ryan Fazziola, Dominic Idianza, Cat Love, Evan Teeth, and the Oscar goes to Jake Diabertis as Roy in a chorus line and some various roles and voices from the high school. Jake Diabertis may have been a freshman playing various roles, but he has some great talent. And he was nominated because he's done a fabulous job playing so many leading roles in plays, musicals, and even other musicals for Growing Night. And he's also one of the greatest acting celebrities at Station E. So congratulations to Jake Diabertis. Yep, Jake Diabertis may be a pal to Dominic Idanza as well as one of the greatest high school legends, but I know that he could be a very busy guy. And he hasn't seen his old high school buddies ever since. No wonder why he always has to be tied up with something or someone. Maybe he's egotistical. <laughs> he's not like that, you idiot. He's a busy dude, and he's the best. But I think he and Logan Farrell have great shape. He's right, you know. But anyways, let's move on announcing the winners for Best 10-Year Featured Actresses. Can I go this time before James does? Sure thing, Percy. Thank you. The nominees for Best 10-Year Featured Actresses are Katie Apostolico, Michaela Bertissi, Dana Faziola, Brittany Kelly, and the Oscar goes to... Okay, where's the envelope? I don't know. James, do you have it? No, I don't. I thought Percy has it. Oh, great. Nobody has it. <laughs> Relax, Percy. It's right here. I found it on one of the Godspell sets. Oh, terrific. I wonder how it got there. It can't grow legs and run away or something. <clears throat> Anyways, the Oscar goes to... Dana Faziola as Lois in Voices from the High School. Dana Faziola was nominated because she is the little sister of Brian Faziola. She did amazing playing any feature roles that are not casting yet before showtime. And she's been doing amazing things helping the drama club out, as well as designing and creating playbills for high school plays, musicals, and Broadway night shows. So congratulations to Dana Faziola. Just so you know that just like Dominic Guy Danza himself, Dana can also be good at editing as well. Yep, it is time to announce the winners for Best 15-Year Feature Actors. Henry, would you mind starting off? I sure can. So the nominees for Best 15-Year Featured Actors are Odell Curtin, John Hudson, Jay Quatrock, Jaden Riley, Matt Salerno, and the Oscar goes to Jaden Riley as Junior Bomergato in Disney's Pinocchio. Jaden Riley was nominated because he's one of the most talented young actors of what any theaters have ever had. He has great singing skills, dancing skills, comedy styles, and a number of other things. So congratulations to Jaden Riley. You know, I'll never forget how he and Dominic Idanza first met. When Jaden did Pinocchio at CM, 
he was like a little nugget. <laughs> well, Dominic Idanza is like a little nugget when he did the Josh Chaperone. So was I. <laughs> Dude, you're a train. You never age. Oh, yeah, right. But sometimes I can feel like a kid myself, just like Dom was 13 years ago. Well, that was a long time. And yes, that's how it is when years pass. Yep. But what about 15-year feature actresses? Can't forget about them. We were about to get started on that one, Henry. I'll... Don't even start. <laughs> Sorry. The nominees for Best 15-Year Feature Actresses are... Ashley Idanza. <laughs> Caitlin Onyfrey. Jenna Schoen. And the Oscar goes to... Ashley I. Danza as Little Jake and Annie Get Your Gun and Terry and Pinocchio. Wow, 15 years is really a long time. I know, but you know something? What? We should announce the winners for Best Ensemble. Yeah, not a bad idea, Thomas, because without an ensemble, then the show would fall flat and come to a screeching hall. Exactly. The nominees for Best Ensemble are all together now. Cinderella. Gateway's Haunted Playhouse, Godspell, The Little Mermaid, and the Oscar goes to the Ensemble of The Little Mermaid. Wow, no wonder why everybody loves The Little Mermaid. It has great music, great singing, you name it. But most of the settings are surrounded by nothing but water. How could anybody sing underwater? Well, you can't. Otherwise, we'll drown. <laughs> but it's awesome when I sing near water. Just so other people can think you're making a scene at the aquarium? Yeah, great choice, James. <laughs> Besides, dude, as trains, we can't swim, and water is not my type. Yeah, sure, but did the Grinch get this kind of abuse from water? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, right. And Thomas, who do you think is the winner for best 10-year ensemble? We're getting to it right now. James, want to start off? Well, okay. Again? You're going to make him start off? Well, the quicker we get all the winners for best performers done, the quicker we move ahead. We got a long way to go. The nominees for best 10-year ensemble are A Chorus Line, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, King Arthur's Crazy Quest, South Pacific, The Josh Chaperone, and the Oscar goes to The Ensemble of A Chorus Line. What? A chorus line? One of the judges' chaperone. It's very popular for the I Danza Club. And Andrew Brooking just did it. Well, what's the huge difference, James? Other folks believe that a chorus line has amazing music, too. Well, so does the judges' chaperone. Yeah, right. Until everybody falls asleep at the end of the show. <laughs> Gordon can sometimes fall asleep at the beginning, too. Well, what do you expect, James? Gordon always falls asleep. All he even cares about is peace and quiet. Well, my wheels are getting tired with all this chit-chat. Let's announce the winners for Best 15-Year Ensemble. You got it. The nominees for Best 15-Year Ensemble are... Annie Get Your Gun. Pinocchio. Randy Reader Live. And the Oscar goes to... The Ensemble of Pinocchio. To be fair, that Andrew Brooking plays Pinocchio when he did Shrek on stage, and it was such a blast for him. Well, you know Shrek is DreamWorks, right? Of course Shrek is DreamWorks, but Pinocchio appeared in Shrek as well. Well, we all knew that Pinocchio is such a classic story. Yes, it is indeed. Well, we finally finished announcing the winners for every performers. What about announcing the winners for best directors? You know what, Percy? You are absolutely correct. You can't do any show or movie without a director because they're the most important people in every show or movie. Maybe I can start off. Nope, you start off too many times. Now it's my turn. So the nominees for Best Directors are Michael Baker, Kevin Burns, Rick Grossman, Tyler Meadows, Max Rico, and the Oscar goes to Kevin Burns for The Little Mermaid. Kevin Burns was nominated because he is one of the huge fans of The Little Mermaid and he is also one of the first cast members when CM did it for main stage. And now, he became one of the greatest directors for everyone's favorite underwater princess to come alive. So congratulations to Kevin Burns. Wait, 
I didn't know that Kevin Burns did Little Mermaid before. Yes, he did. He did it like once or twice, and it seems to me that he kind of had a lot of fun doing this production. <laughs> well, that's way cool. But what about 10-year directors? It's coming right now, buddy. The nominees for Best 10-Year Directors are Matt August, Ken Dobbins, Jeffrey Zandel, Dominic Schur, and the Oscar goes to Kenneth Dobbins from The Guys of Chaperone and Voices from the High School. Mr. Kenneth Dobbins was Sajin East's former drama teacher that directed so many wonderful shows like Susical, Pax, Into the Woods, Little Women, The Josh Chaperone, Mamma Mia, Play Miz, West Side Story, and more. So one of his all-time favorite dramas that Dominic Aganza has been part of was Voices from the High School, a show that takes place in high school. So congratulations to Kenneth Dobbins. No. I always remember that he's retired two years ago. I know, but he is still such a wonderful director. Well, one of my all-time favorite shows has to be Cats, because I love the Rum Tum Tugger. <laughs> well, I still didn't know that some felines can be rock stars. <laughs> well, that's what theater is all about, Percy. <laughs> that's right. But about Cats, we'll talk about these kind of stuff in the next awards. Let's all be focused on this year. Good point, Thomas. How about announcing the winners for Best 15-Year Directors? We haven't done this ever since the pandemic got started. Well, since things are getting ready to go back to normal, the nominees for Best 15-Year Directors are Elizabeth Ann Castro Giovanni, <laughs> Mrs. Hart and Mrs. McNair, Jeffrey Zandel, and the Oscar goes to... Jeffrey Zandel for Pinocchio and Annie Get Your Gun. Jeffrey Zenzo was nominal because he created the production of Pinocchio by combining the fairy tale version, the Disney version, and even his own way. And Dominic and Ashley Iaganza were both cast members in this production one by one. Mr. Zenzo created his words in his own way, including his big accomplishment, A Christmas Carol, a popular show for Theater 3. And they were all amazing, and everybody loved on how Jeffrey Zanzel put everything together. So congratulations to Jeffrey Zanzel. Well, I always remember that Jeffrey Zanzel is one of the best show directors of all time, especially his playwrights. Yup. And now we're finished announcing the winners for best directors. Henry, what can we do? How about announcing the winners for best choreographers? Now, this is what I really like about theater. Dancing! Now, that's what I like to hear, dude. Wanna start off, buddy? Okie dokie. The nominees for Best Choreographers are Nicole Ashley Bino, <laughs> Emmy Young, Tyler Matos, Dana McDonald, and the Oscar goes to... Emmy Young for The Little Mermaid. Mary Elizabeth Young was nominated because she's been part of CM for a long time, and she's one of the most famous choreographers of any shows, including Sister Act, Alice in Wonderland, Fame, West Side Story, Lily Blonde, 9 to 5, and many more. So congratulations to Emmy Young. Just so you know that when CM did The Little Mermaid for Main Stage for the first time, Emmy Young was Ariel. And The Little Mermaid became one of the most popular shows in the Aya Danza Club. Yup. Now let's announce the winners for Best 10-Year Choreographers. I got it. The nominees for Best 10-Year Choreographers are John DeLuca, <laughs> Bay York Lee, Gene Silvera, and the Oscar goes to Bay York Lee for a chorus line. Bay York Lee was nominated because she was one of the greatest boy stars as an actress, singer, dancer, choreographer, theater director, and an author. Even though she also choreographed a chorus line in other places, she is still best known to become one of the late Michael Bennett's closest collaborators, and she helped to develop the choreography in many of his shows. So congratulations to Bay York Lee! This year's awards is going amazing. Just a few more winners left, but don't forget about Best 15 Year Choreographers. You know what, Henry? You're right. The nominees for Best 15 Year Choreographers are Elizabeth Ann Castro Giovanni, <laughs> Sally Feldman, Gene Sobera, and the Oscar goes to 
Elizabeth Ann Castro Giovanni, and Sari Feldman for Pinocchio. Elizabeth Ann Castro Giovanni and Sari Feldman were both nominated because they're both really great with kids and done an outstanding job by using their brilliant choreographies for children's theater and main stage. So congratulations to Elizabeth Ann Castro Giovanni and Sari Feldman. You know, without the dancing, then the shows really do fall flat as pancakes. Especially songs, because what's a show without singing? Well, that's why we're going to announce the winners for Best Musical Directors. So the nominees for Best Musical Directors are Robert Fishman, Ariane Miller, Robert D. Persia Jr., Matt Sirico, and the Oscar goes to Matt Sirico for The Little Mermaid. Matt Sirico was nominated because he has been the resident music director for seven years and has worked countless shows including Beauty and the Beast, Lady Miserable, Pinocchio, South Pacific, Aida, and even Blue Mermaid. So congratulations to Mr. Matt Sirico. Wow, seven years? That was a very long time ago, don't you think? Well, seven years is not too long. Well, sort of. <laughs> hey Thomas, are there any winners for Best 10-Year Music Directors as well? Yes, there is, my friend. The nominees for Best 10-Year Music Directors are... Ryan Faziola, Robin Macy, Kevin F. Story, and the Oscar goes to... Ryan Faziola for a chorus line! Ryan Faziola may be one of the greatest high school performers, but he has some great talent of being a great music director. And he was nominated because he's done a fabulous job playing so many leading roles in plays, musicals, and even other musicals for Broadway Night, as well as his best talent of playing the piano. And he is one of the most greatest acting celebrities at Stage of East. So congratulations to Ryan Faziola. Whoa, I didn't know that some high school students can do that. Well, that's what they always do, dude. While the teachers had to step out for a bit, the students can fill in for them. Now, that's very thoughtful for helping teachers out. Hey, Thomas, are there any winners for Best 15-Year Music Directors? Well, there's not that many music directors, so I'm going to have to say that the two lucky winners for Best 15-Year Music Directors are Kevin F. Story and Steve McCoy. Phew, thank goodness it's over the truth. Not so fast, boys. We got one more winner to announce. That's right. We're almost done. What? Oh, you're right. Best Animated Short Films, which is our series. And what shall it be? And to wrap this baby up, the nominees for Best Animated Short Films are Happy 25th Birthday, Dominic I. Danza, Percy and the Dragon, Wait, what? Susie's Baby Sister, Prank Wars, Thomas and Six Flags, and the Oscar goes to... Percy and the Dragon! Oh my god, why does this have to be the winner? I've almost got nightmares every time I see this dragon. Well, because everybody loves this episode, and they also thought it has great edits. And we also did great stunts, and that's a lot of fun. <laughs> well, personally, to me, in my opinion, it looks awful dangerous. Don't worry, Henry, it's all done with computers now. I didn't even understand these kind of stuff myself. In fact, I... Hello? Ugh, you are so gross. See you later. <laughs> that guy is so annoying. Who is that? Nothing. It's just a stupid ad. Okay, now that was fun announcing the winners for Best Aya Danza Show and Films. Did you guys have fun? Yes, I had fun. Yes, I have. Yes, definitely. And I can't wait to find out what upcoming shows that the IE Tensa Club would produce in 2022. Well, we're going to have to wait and see, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for the 2021 Annual IE Tensa Academy Awards. Yep, and we will be looking forward to do this show again next year. Things are going back to normal right now, so better keep up the good work to make this earth remain healthy and clean forever. And don't forget to be our guests to subscribe to Dominic I Danza channel, Madeline Farms, Jillian Michelle Smith, Megan Gallagher, Lexi Tedisco, Cindy Labuda, Jessica May Murphy, David DeLuca, Zach Artakis, Jennifer Geisman, Vincent Donadio, Brianna Paridi, Carrie Butler, Awesome Channel, Sarah Minto, The Crosbys. 
Track Mini and Matt, Anthony Penarello, James Collins, People Blast 556677, Anthony Salerno, David DeLuca, Luke Rosario, Liza Aquilino, Sabrina Petroski, Cordelia Commando, Yeah Doza, Kiernan Urso, The Bucket List Family, Danica DeCosto, Michael Allen Zoller, Andrew Brooking, Ethan Velazari, Robert Eberly, Patrick Barnes, Jacob Walson, Luke McNair, Mamon 514, Charlotte Hanna, Rosie Dean, Jake Sokoloff, Georgie Anthony, James Schultz, JFC Productions, Liam Attridge, Luke Ferrari, Brian Seeley, Looky Us, Hey Just Kayla here, Emery Kelly, Larry Saperstein, Kevin F. Story, Juliet Wolcott, Ashley Verana, CM Performing Arts Center, The Princess and the Bear, Gene Otaco 91, Jenna Cavalier, Brett Chisiver, Abby Rose, and CK Productions. And more videos of these channels will be here soon. And we will be looking forward to do more upcoming I Dance shows and films. Thanks, everybody, and have a wonderful night. And both the Born of All have a happy, safe, and even better 2022 year.